Hello everyone, this is my first try at a chemistry summary video and we're looking at atom theory. Now 300 BC, there's a guy called Democritus, suggested that matter, that matter is made of atoms, uh, but uh, his ideas were not accepted. And about 2000 years later, John Dalton kind of made the same suggestion uh, that matter is made of atoms. And his reasoning was that uh, if you take elements, you can combine them to make compounds. And so he had a bit more evidence behind his suggestion. Now, atoms are very small. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. That's one uh, thousand millionth. And uh, that means a finger would be about, well, exactly, well, right, about uh, 10 million nanometers wide. But a silicon atom is only one fifth of a nanometer. So uh, atoms are really, really small. Now, inside atoms, there might be some stuff. J.J. Thompson found that there were small negatively charged particles in atoms, which have been called electrons. And uh, the reason he says this was that he took a Crookes tube, which is a tube with uh, the gas sucked out and with two electrodes. Now, when the voltage is applied to the electrodes, there's a green glow in the tube. So the tube looks, um, well, there's different designs, but one design is that you, whoops, there's one design that has, um, tube looks something like this. It's a glass tube and it goes around like this. And they put one electrode over here and that's connected up to um, a, a negative charge on that side. It's a negative sign there. And there's another electrode over here that's all sealed up. But the wire comes out and they put a positive charge on that side. Now when they do that and put um, the electricity, put the voltage, turn the voltage on, turn on, then there's a green glow uh, appears, which goes like this and goes down like that and also actually continues on a bit like that as well. So it looks a bit like a light, um, a laser, like a, yeah, it looks like a laser, it looks like a lightsaber and um, they really didn't know what it was at first, but they figured out eventually that um, there was particles coming from the negative side. That shows that they're probably negative particles. And um, they go shooting out towards the positive electrode, but, but some of them, um, they miss the turn and they just sort of keep on going like that. And uh, that's what they found. Now, if you want to see that in a video, just uh, check out the video that's there. Now, there's another thing that's inside atoms, and um, Ernst Rutherford did a gold experiment. Now, in his gold experiment, he took uh, some gold foil. So here we have some gold atoms, very, very thin layer, and uh, he took his electron, uh, took his radiation box. So he's got a box with some um, radioactive material here. He opens the little door, and the radiation comes shooting out. And uh, should go straight through um, because you know that's what uh, that's what always used to happen. But he noticed that um, some of the radiation was bouncing back like this. He had a detector over here, and he didn't expect to find anything, but he just put his detector over there anyway to see what was going on. And the radiation was going into the detector and being detected. And the reason they think that this was happening is that uh, there's a tiny little hard part in the middle, a solid part inside the atom. So the atom is actually mostly empty space, which is where the electrons are going around the outside, and inside there's a tiny little nucleus, really, really small. But that's where all the mass of the atom really is, and the rest of the atom is empty space. Now, um, the positively charged protons could be detected by various means, but the neutrons could not be easily found, but eventually they found them in 1936. They've got the same mass as the protons. So now we've got the idea of an atom being um, some small positively charged particles and some negatively charged particles with some mass 
and then way, way out past, a long way out, there's maybe some electrons somehow going around the outside. Most of the atom is empty space.